If large enough, an adult king mackerel can strike at 40 miles per hour, hence its nickname, the smoker. On this episode of Next Level Fishing, we cruise down the Texas coastline to see what it takes to catch these toothy critters. Up and down the Texas coastline, offshore kayak fishing is emerging. But like every territory, there are obstacles. Here in Texas, the surf can create problems. Fortunately, today is what we consider a walk in the park. Once past the last breaker, the battle to the oil rigs begins. Here what we use to store our fish are our fish bags up front covered by a blast shield. It's jammed in there. Out here in Texas you're allowed two king fish per. We all know that fish like structure. And while it helps concentrate fish, never underestimate picking them off before they get there. Shortly after this strike, Ruben intercepts also. Ah, sit down, bro. Halfway, maybe. As soon as that ribbon fish at the bottom. Yeah. Well, we'll see what it is, though. Feels like a king. Did a number on my skirt, though. <laughs> It's hot. <laughs> How long you guys been out here for? Mm. 
Go. You got any lines out or no? No, no. Okay. number one. Let's go for another. It's not very hard to catch a king. I mean, all you need is a, a decent king rig. And really that's about it. Now this one probably has maybe one more go at it. I'm almost hesitant to even use it, but we'll, we'll give it another shot. Oh, watch those hooks. using a pink little skirt and I've had a lot of good luck on with about a two ounce weight that's sort of pushed up on the skirt. A Ralph at Fisherman's Place actually made these for me to just kind of test out and that's king number one. And what you do is you sort of just push these two ounce egg weights uh, up on, on these little skirts and you know they really do fit like a glove. Obviously on that fish it knocked out, but that's that's all right. As long as we get a good clean hookup, I'm not really complaining about about that. And we landed the fish though. <laughs> that is probably about a I'm going to guess maybe a 41, 40, maybe a 39 inch king. It's not very big, but sporty nonetheless. So let's go ahead and give this another whirl. As soon as I got here, I trolled uh, relatively close to that rig and, and they got me right off the bat. They're running deep. Just trolling ribbon fish, man. Nothing special. These are about 12 inch ribbon fish that I got here at the local bait stand. And um, nothing's really changed in the last few days, so. Before me and Ruben decided to come out here and hit this particular area, I had done some pre-fishing the day before. From what we have learned in the past few years, a little bit of chop on the water is always good keen weather. 
I got this one on the, uh... You know, I, I lost a few fish the oh, first man. day, only caught one the day before. We knew that the following day could potentially hold some pretty awesome fishing, especially in a, in a very calm environment. Way downtown out here. Huh? <laughs> On the next episode of Next Level Fishing, we'll see how it all wraps up. So hang tight, and we'll see you soon.